what's up you guys and welcome back to the gal channel here we're in the netherlands at zonshans and thanks to adobe they sent me out here to ibc to cover some of the adobe updates and what i'm going to be doing is using just my iphone x and my Joby mobile rig to shoot a travel video and edit the entire thing using the project rush mobile app which is a new all-in-one video editing app that can be used on your mobile phone, tablet, and desktop. And I'm gonna give you an update on how well the mobile app works. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so I am back here in my home studio after the awesome trip in Amsterdam, and I actually started my video edit with the Project Rush mobile app on the airplane. So I was able to select all of the shots that I captured just with my iPhone X, and I got to build my timeline edit. Now, I can't show you a close-up look at the UI right now, which is the user interface of Rush, because it is in the pre-release state, so I can only show you clips that the Adobe team has sent me as part of the press release. So let me just tell you that it took me like roughly like I would say 20 minutes or so to really get a feel for how to use the editing tools on the app such as like trimming the clips but you can really just zoom in and out of the timeline with ease just by using your finger gestures and you can click and hold and move the end of a clip to trim it to the timeline playhead. I was also able to bring in a music track which I got from Soundstripe and I was able to drop that music clip into the Creative Cloud and then bring it into Rush so I could start to edit my clips to the beat of the music. So this is the commercial, or the travel film I should say, that's just 30 seconds that I was able to edit in Rush. So the top things that I want to conclude with here is one, this is great for mobile editors that don't want to bring a laptop, they can start their edit on the airplane just like me. And because of the automatic project syncing, all of the projects are just stored in the cloud. So I could open it up on the desktop version of Rush and finish my edit when I get home at my computer. And what really sets Project Rush apart and the part that I'm most excited about is that you can easily change the aspect ratio from landscape to square format to portrait vertical mode just with a click of a button. And while I was at IBC, I met with Jonathan on the Adobe team who shared with us some of the cool sharing features in Rush. You can export directly to YouTube, directly to Facebook, totally saving you a step. That means if you're out in the field, if you're a journalist, or you're a social media creator, you're a YouTuber, you can start editing on your phone, finishing your phone, go right to your social channel. And if you wanna add more complex transitions or plugin tools, that are only available in Premiere Pro, you can open up Rush inside of Premiere Pro and finish your edit. So I encourage you guys to check out Rush. So I'll put a link in the description box below to apply for the beta and the full app will be released later this year. So let me know what you guys think about Project Rush, what you think you could use it for. And I look forward to reading the comments below. And thanks again to Adobe for bringing me out to IBC and I'll be publishing another video where I go into depth about all of the Premiere Pro updates. So stay tuned. See you guys next time. Bye. Here at the Adobe booth in IBC, and I'm here with Mike Russell, pro audio expert. Mike, do you want to tell us a little bit about your channel? I'm so excited to be here. I'm here with Premier Gal. Uh, so I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. My channel is at youtube.com slash music radio creative.